Hi guys, this is Shiva Reddy. In this session, I am going to explain acronyms in the Git. See, uh, these are the keywords which you frequently use in the next couple of uh, my videos. Hence, I will explain those keywords in the first chapter itself. So, the first one is untracked files. Untracked files are the files which are added newly to the working copy, but those are not added to the not, not stage. That means you didn't use git add command so far those called as a untracked files so those files will not know anything to the git and stage dot index the files which are you are adding using the add command those are called as a staged or indexed files that means the kit will keep track of the changes what is happening for those staged files then clone clone is a, a clone request we use to get the complete copy of data from uh, git repository to your local working copy or the working directory and pull request pull request are, is used to get only the changes which is not available on the local uh, local uh, computer or the working copy but those are available in the server and uh, merge request when you are working with a, um, a project different people work on the uh, work on the same project so ideally the approach is you will create a own branch from the main uh, you will create your own branch from the main uh, repository or the main branch and you will do your local code changes like that multiple developers will do the uh, separate branches and they will work on their own uh, they will work on their own fixes once that is done you will you will always merge the your local code is to the main branch so merge basically merges the two or more branches to a single uh, single branch and branch branch is a separate uh, working copy or the working uh, separate clone of the main branch which you are used for uh, fixing the bugs or the for the enhancement tax when you are working with the one fix when you are uh, tax are basically uh, is like a production releases notes once you done with the release you will mark that one way as a tag so that later point of time somebody wants uh, uh, the same fix then you can go to that tag and they you can get uh, you can give the same version so there is a small difference between the branch and the tag once you tag you cannot do any modification to that uh, at that particular um, branch uh, uh, for the tag but if you create a branch you can uh, always keep on adding or the changes will be allowed and a tree a tree is a binary struct uh, when you are um, git is actually committing the once you commit the changes it will be maintaining a tree structure of all the commits so it is how it is organizing the commits for the particular branch is called as a tree and head is positive uh, head is always used to latest commit of the your branch or the uh, repository and hash is the one we use hash is hash is a uh, some uh, identification to your particular commit basically whenever you do a commit it will calculate the hash uh, for that uh, using the shavan algorithm it will create a one secret key or the um, one uh, one unique identification key that will be attached to the uh, particular commit Commit is uh, commit is uh, commit is commit is a keyword or the command we use it to commit your staging area files to your uh, file uh, to to the local uh, Git repository. That means once you add the files to the staging, so those staging files needs to be committed to the main branch. We use the commit command. So these are the frequently used keywords in the next tutorials. Hope this is clear. If you have any questions, please comment on my YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.